Okay. Go. Hi, my name is Joe Bosco. I'm with the Office of Enterprise Architecture, and today um, I will be presenting the Enterprise Architecture Community Forum. Um, this is our collaboration por um, forum, which is utilizing our ServiceNow Communities solution. Um, we'll be covering overall framework and the collaboration aspects of the EAC forum. Um, just to note, um, registration and login um, for this actual product will be sent out separately. Uh, we plan to send out a send out a slide deck to to show users how to sign up to our collaboration for, portal. So today we'll just be covering the EAC forum like I mentioned. This is the landing page. So after you register and log in, um, this is where you, you would land. Um, what you see in front of you are current forums that are out today in our portal. Um, we have the EAC forum, we have the Artificial Intelligence Community Forum and a Frequently Asked Forum. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Enterprise Architecture Community Forum and um, go over the um, framework of our collaboration forum. There you go, so this is our parent forum. Um, this is the California Enterprise Architecture Community as you can see here, um, there are three sub forums tied to our community forum. Um, I will cover all three of those. Um, but first, we're just going to cover the main forum, which is a, um, the parent forum for all three of these. Um, in this forum, if you scroll down, you'll see there are content postings. Um, what you could post in this forum, this is our full collaboration forum. And what I mean by that, this is an area where it allow, um, we allow you to post a question, um, upload some documents, um, you know, create a blog, um, maybe advertise a specific event. Um, this also, um, down below here, you see topics. Um, these are the topics that, you, that are full collaboration also. Um, our discussion boards, I'll go ahead and click on this one. This would simulate our EAC community outlook. Um, I know some of us have posted um, questions in our in our mailbox for Outlook. Um, as we mature and move move towards this collaboration portal, um, our emails could be posted here um, in in this forum. Uh, I'll click an example. You know, we we had a work from home type of a uh, content with someone. You know, we, we had a EAC member Ben. Um, Ask how how are folks dealing with working from home with this you know you know new work from home uh, and, and COVID situation we're in. Um, we could place this in communities and it'd be you know a discussion that we could do right here. You get emails and notifications, kind of like Outlook. But the difference here is um, this type of stuff is not mixed in with your regular emails. Um, we'll have a record of the actual response the posting, how the community um, responded to it. Um, you could reply, you know, directly here, um, post whatever, you know, message or, or comment you may have, and that will, that will notify anybody that's um, part of this community. Scroll up and go back to our topic areas. Um, the other topic areas in, our, in this collaboration zone, um, our events, uh, events here, Let's scroll down, click on events. This is where we will send invites. We could, well, again, this is a maturity thing. Once we mature to this tool completely, instead of an Outlook um, email or, or a, so supplementing an Outlook email, we could send out events, um, our Enterprise Architecture Community Forums that we have. Um, these events here could be, um, we could send it, send it out here. Um, if you click on one of these invites, you could, it's just like an invite in e um, email. If you subscribe, you, you could respond to it. Um, you could also um, accept an invite if we, if we use this um, fully. So this is where we'll, we'll, we'll place these invites along with email. And then we, when we slowly mature to this or, or move off of Outlook um, for this type of um, 
for these type of advice we can use communities. Scroll back to our main. Um, and then I, I won't click on every topic, but there are other areas here, um, our, our forum presentations and our tools and resources. These are areas of, um, you know, the, the air, um, forum where content postings in, in relation to useful tools or resource partners or forum presentations are going to be posted. I'm going to pause real quick if, if there's a, you know, a, a question from every, any of our panelists that um, want to ask regarding our main forum before I move over to our sub forums. I have a question, Joe. Uh, sure. I see the subscribe button in a lot of places. What does what does the subscribe button mean on each of these things? Great question. So let's just say we're in our main collaboration portal or here, our EAC forum, and you click on um, EA Learning. And you notice, wow, this is a content posting I want to continue to be notified about. Um, you know, if you if you don't, you know, if you don't want to be notified, you don't do anything. But if you want to subscribe to this, the subscribe button allows you to um, anything that um, occurs with this particular content posting, you will be notified via the email you've registered with. And um, later in, in this presentation, I'll show you how to kind of um, set up your notifications. You may want to subscribe to it, um, but you may, may not want to be notified for every single aspect of that actual topic area or post. So hope that answers your question there. It does. Thank you. Great. So within this forum, uh, I mentioned that you have you could you could post content. So these are our, the content postings that are available available to you. Um, just keep in mind forums are uh, permission based. So um, in this forum, you have these content postings available to you. If you have a question, um, you can just simply you know click on the question button. Um, and fill in the blanks, fill in the actual prompted fields of what your question is. Um, if you wanted to land on a specific topic area, um, you could click on this field here. And, you know, if you want your question to fall in any of these topic areas, you could select that. You know, if you have a question about forum presentations, you know, wh where is, you know, where is the, the presentation for October of you know, 2020? Um, you could post that, and we have moderators in the back end that can help guide and answer some of these questions. I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to post that information. All right, I'm going to move forward to um, some of our other sub forums so you can see some of our features. But before I do that, was there anything? Any questions regarding um, specific postings? Um, I know I just covered question here, um, but these are the these these other content posting types are, you know, if you want to post an artifact or if you want to post an event, you know, you just pick the appropriate content posting you want for what you want to submit. Okay, I'm going to move forward. Um, our next sub our, fir our first sub forum I'm going to cover is our common business scenarios. Um, so I'm gonna click on that, and what we have here are we've populated some um, we've populated some some content in here. As you notice here, the content posting area has disappeared, um, and this is because this is an area that we we chose to be read only. Um, this is a read only zone of our forum. Um, uh, what you can do here is look at content postings. Um, like I'll, I'll click on one right here. See what the content posting is. is a, if this is something you would like to be notified on, you can hit the subscribe button also. Um, you know, you, the content postings if, if are either going to be in the body of the actual posting and could have a downloadable, you know, artifact. Um, if this is something that is of interest to you and you want to read it later, you could click on the um, download button. You do have the ability to at least 
um, download the content. You won't be able to collaborate with that, with, with the content, but this allows you to at least save the content. You, you select a uh, location you want to save it to, or you can just open it directly from your browser. Um, I will quickly open that so just folks can see what that looks like. Um, so it open, you know, depending on the actual content type, this is the, you know, you either open, you'll either open Word or a PDF of, of your, um, on your workstation. Go back. Any questions on our common business scenarios? Joe, I have a question. I see you selecting the breadcrumb to get back to the previous screen. Is that always in that same location, kind of in the middle of the screen? Yeah. So, um, it's, you know, there are areas within the actual tool, and a lot of it's you, you hover your mouse over. If you notice here, you can see that all forums and community. These are the areas that you can that link you back to either the main page or the home page. You don't necessarily have to hit your back button here. You can get lost. It may take you back to the home page. So, you know, when you when navigating within communities, if you just hover your mouse over specific areas, um, it, this right here tells you this is the path you're in. Um, I'm in the community forum in the business common business uh, um, business scenarios sub forum. If you want to get back to the home page of the EAC forum, you could hover your mouse, you can see the breadcrumb there, click on that, and it takes you back to the main page. Um, and from here, it's either view more, or you can see there's a hover here to go to all forums. So it's really just getting used to the tool. Um, I'm going to cover capabilities. Um, again, this is another area of our EAC that is read-only. Um, we've populated some content here regarding, you know, um, information that helps define EA capabilities and supporting activities. Um, I'll go ahead and click on one of the content postings. Again, this is a read-only section. Um, but again, this 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 the content here it has a, a purpose of the actual content. Um, the images here, if they look smaller, you could click on them to enlarge and see what you're looking at. You could also um, scroll down and look at the definitions. And then you notice here there's artifacts also. Um, you could download that, the, the um, information tied to that. Um, like all content postings, you could subscribe um, to the content for any type of updates. Since this is a read-only one, that's probably one of the ones that you, you probably want to subscribe to so you know if there's an update to the actual document or not. Yeah, and here's another breadcrumb right here to take you back to the main capabilities um, portal or forum. You click on that, and it takes you back to where you were. What, what are the other cool widgets, too? You know, the, the, the most, you know, view, most viewed content. So... If you haven't been in here a while, you could you could you could look at this widget and say, "Hey, God, there's a lot of people looking at you know planning and road mapping. Why is that? You know, and it helps you know trigger you as a user of maybe I should take a peek at that. And you could hover here, and it takes you directly to the postings if you could see there with your mouse. So it's just navigating around um, to see what breadcrumbs are out there within the widgets. Any questions on the capabilities? I noticed that the comments all have uh, zero comments on the, the postings. Is, is that because you mentioned things were locked down so that comments are not uh, a capability of the, the section? Correct. So because we just made this a read-only download area, we did um, disable comments. Um, as you can see here, comments are currently disabled for this post. Um, a lot of that is just to keep the structure um, going. Uh, we we may mature, we open that up, but as of right now, um, you know, we're just we're just locking it down in a sense of just keeping it structured and 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 adjusting to to how we want our forums to um, how we want our users to interact with our forum. 
So if I had a question or a comment about one of the locked down sub forum topics, would I be posting it on that home communities forum page? Correct. You could, um, and just, just like, uh, I think you could post a question here. It will land in the main content area and stay within communities. And then our, our team, our, our, our EAC or actually our office would see the, the question and respond with it accordingly. So it would land here. So like I said, we, we could mature these at some point to a point where we allow certain things. But I think as of right now, we just want to keep it read only, keep the structure in place um, and adjust as needed for, for questions or um, collaboration zones within our community. Okay, I'm going to move forward to our repository. Um, this is where a lot of our content resides um, in a repository here. Um, our topics are structured um, to follow the EAC cube. Um, so if you, you if if there's any content that's um, that the EAC is or the the Office of Enterprise Architecture is posting or updating in regards to our California Enterprise Architecture Framework, it will fall into one of these topic areas. Uh, I'm gonna click on a couple of these so you um, get an understanding of what area, um, what we have populated. This also is an area that we, we hope to grow with community usage. Uh, like I mentioned here, if there are, if there's artifacts that your department um, use, you know, you could, you could upload it into our main site and, it's, and you know, mention that this is something we use. It might be useful that for our, for the framework to adopt, and that's something we could look at, um, and you could upload into communities, and we could have discussions in regards to those type of type of artifacts. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just show a, a few of our topic areas. Um, I'm gonna click on data information. Um, that for to come up. So you can see here. This is these are examples of of data. Um, common supporting artifacts to contribute to our EA components of information architecture. Quite a bit of content here. Um, you know, I can I'm gonna click on our roadmap, uh, our mind my, my map. So this is something that um, we've uploaded um, that has, you know, a kind of a information work products um, regarding um, our information architecture. So here, you can see here, there's a blog that was posted with a, a purpose, um, an image, right? And the supporting artifacts are below. Quite a bit here, I'm not gonna click on all of them, um, but this kind of gives you a guide. Um, this is where artifacts reside for this particular um, content posting. I'll switch back to repository. Um, we also have a search feature here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, if there's anything that you would like to search for, um, you could you know, put it right here. For example, I just clicked on information. I could do information arc. Takes you to a pretty, um, pretty good search um, tool. So here, here's all the hits for information arc, and that's everything within that sub forum, but you can narrow it down to where you want this search at. Um, so if I wanna search for anything information um, in our data information area, it's gonna give you the hits there. So you can see here, it found quite a few things and it tells you where it's located, you know, these little breadcrumbs here tell you where they are. Um, it shows you if there's an artifact associated with the content posting that you could download. Uh, there's that mind map one I just showed you guys earlier. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty significant tool. If you wanted to do a broader search on that, you could you know, switch it to a forum level and it will search any forum you have access to. Um, it doesn't have to be our EAC. If you're just doing a, a broad stroke of information artifacts, it will provide forums, you know, depending on your permissions and if you're a member of that particular forum. You could search 
you know, from um, again, pretty, pretty, pretty deep um, search features here. Past year, past month, past week, um, things like that. I'm going to pause. Do you have any questions regarding some of these capabilities I covered here? I know I covered quite a bit there. Uh, so if if I'm a community member and I have an artifact that I would like to share with the community, would mm -hmm. I, again, it, it sounds like it would be eventually uploaded and posted to the repository. Um, would I be uploading that on that, again, that home screen and then someone from the office of VA would reach out to me or how do I get it into the repository? Correct. So you kind of um you know answer some of that with your question yes if you, you would upload directly into this main forum right if this is a document um we do have our office of enterprise architecture staff that monitors uh, our collaboration area so um within your your posting or question or, or your artifact that you're you're submitting um, this does have a description area here where you, you know, you could put some other information regarding, you know, what you're uploading, um, additional contact information, because all the users going to, all we're going to have is that, you know, you know, Joe Bosco posted a content regarding a, a, a artifact that could be adopted by CIF. And, um, but we, you know, if there's not additional information here, you know, I could put a contact number. Um, that's one way we can reach you, or we can just reach you via the, the actual tool itself by replying to your actual content, um, your posting, and then go from there on how we want to move forward with, with your, your content and the documents or artifacts that you want to present. I have another question about notifications. Sure. If do I need to subscribe to each individual uh, screen that I click on, or is there a way that I can subscribe to the whole forum? Great question. Yes, you could. Um, what I was showing you guys were content posting subscriptions, but you could subscribe to subscribe to the actual forum. As you know, here this is the main sub forum. I can subscribe to that. Um, if I go to the, you know, one of our other sub forums, I could subscribe to it at the forum level or the content level like I showed earlier. And then within your actual um, profile, you could click on your communities menu right here, right next to your initials and select notifications and subscriptions. And then it show what you subscribe to. Right, you subscribe. I subscribe to business scenarios and communities, but then you could, you know, select what you want to be notified with via email. Do you want to be, you know, you know, some of the choices you have: answers marked for the correct questions, blog posted from that. You know, if there's a blog that's posted. You want to be notified, um, and you could go down to. Um, the actual content type, you know, for documents, I just want, I just want to be notified on, you know, content commented on, right? Everything else, I don't, I don't want to be notified on. So you, you have the power to, 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 you know, select what type of notifications um, you want to be notified on, um, and you might want to control that because if you have everything checked, you're, you're and and collaboration starts to you know occur quite a bit with our forums your email itself can get pretty full with notifications um and you just hit save and you know that, that that's um that's how you um save any of your changes or let's just say you want to you don't want to be notified by anything and you just want um you know you'll 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 get your updates based upon just you navigating. You could click on this button and turn all notifications off, um, you know, if, if that's your choice, or if you just want to quiet it for that, for that day, um, you could do things like that. So there's, there's quite a few options you could do. Joe, what do I do if I want to delete a previous comment that I posted? 
Great question. So um, I'm just going to show you one right now. Let me um, we post the question. Right. Um, how do I get in contact with other EAs? She's noticed here too. It also um, when you start typing it, it gives you suggestions. Um, you don't have to select any of those. Um, I want to drop that into the Enterprise Architecture Community Forum. So you select your forum. Um, I'm not going to pick a topic. I just want it on that main page. And I just want to put need help. So if I post this, and it shows up as a question. And I realize, oh man, I didn't want I didn't want that sent out to anyone or the whole world. Um, since you're the author of that actual content posting, you could hit this more options area, this block right here, and delete your content, or delete your posting. Um, but you could only do that with content postings you um, authored. Otherwise, um, you know, you don't have that ability to do that. Um, and if if you if for some reason that doesn't work for you, you can also contact the um, Office of Enterprise Architecture via email or, or standard email. There was a content posting I did on accident, and one of our moderators will be able to delete the content for you. You you just mentioned moderators, so mm -hmm. who who is going to be monitoring content and comments for relevance? and appropriate um, content. Yeah, so we do have a process on our back end and we have, a, a, and who is um, the Office of Enterprise Architecture staff. Um, you know, most of the staff does have um, the ability to, to, to make changes and, and moderate content as needed. Um, the department itself is working on, um, you know, the tool itself allows for, um, you know, banning certain words, uh, whether it's inappropriate or not. So there are some things we are working on to, to kind of automate some of that to, to help prevent um, you know, inappropriate content, but we can't monitor everything. Um, forums are going to be managed by and monitored by the forum moderators, like I mentioned, and they have the ability to delete all content if needed. Um, depending on um, what's posted. And you also, you're, you're touching on my next um, question, is who can gain access to uh, the EAC forum? Great question. So like I mentioned, forums are um, permission-based, and they could also be membership-based. Um, what you see in front of you right now is um, a, what we call a registered view. If you're a registered user, um, these are the forums you have access to. Um, there isn't any um, what, uh, control, so to speak, in a sense of initial access or membership. Um, so registered users have um, certain rights to certain permissions. Now, if EAC decides to move to a membership um, framework, what you saw with um, the subscribe button, that would change to membership or request access. Um, we're not at that stage right now. We may not get to, but just keep in mind if you see a form out there um, that you, you click on and you don't see any content, more than likely you would have to request access and a moderator would go in there and, and approve it. Um, right now we're we're encouraging collaboration. So we're keeping most of our forums open um, and not having too many barriers there. But um, at some point, you know, there, there could be a, a use case where forums become a membership type of a forum or invite only. So, and those are all managed by the, the backend moderators, like I mentioned. Each forum is gonna have an owner 
and that owner generally is the, the moderator of that actual forum. Great, I'm gonna open it up to bigger questions or other questions regarding communities itself or the, the EAC forum itself. Is the, I just have one more question for you, Joe. Is this, sure. is this new collaboration forum replacing previous functionality for the enterprise architecture community? I think you can if we mature it there. I think we're gonna have a, a little bit of um, both right now, but the, the you know, um, the plan right now is to to mature this, um, grow it. I mean, it, it's really based upon, upon our community involvement. This is a tool that's e for easy, easy for folks to access, collaborate information, share information, um, you know, timely responses back. This is a tool that can mature to to that. We could retire other other collaboration tools. What you might find is you might have to find you, know, you do a combination of both. Um, there's things community is very good at. Um, you know, for example, content management is probably not the place you want this to be at. Um, but just sharing initial information, it, it's a good tool to use. Um, there are other tools that handle content management better, um, but you can use a combination of both. Okay. Thank you for the overview, Joe. I appreciate it. Great, great. So, you know, like I mentioned before, we will we'll be sending out information on how to sign up. We, we want to encourage a collaboration. Um, if there's anything else, we could always reach out to our EA, um, our Office of Enterprise Architecture uh, mailbox for now. And, and then um, if there's any information or, or questions regarding communities in general, we can use that um, avenue um, until we mature this actual tool. Great, thank you. All right, thanks everyone.